Meteorologist Katie Garner is joining us now. And Katie, the system has a chance of developing early this week. It does, yeah. We now have potential tropical cyclone nine, and you'll see the stats here. It's a slow mover, so you know the slower these storms move, the more strength they're able to gain. Now, looking at the National Hurricane Center, we're going to give you a track of what they're expecting right now as it makes its way into the Gulf. You can see the timeline Wednesday into Thursday, and we in Jacksonville are in that cone right now, at least part of our area, and the panhandle is as well, as Jen mentioned. So this is what we know. As far as the storm goes, because because it's a slow mover and there's very warm water and low wind shear, we are expecting this to wreak havoc across certain parts of the area. You want to prepare now. Get ready now because the impacts again are going to go from Wednesday all the way into Friday as it makes its way up towards Charlotte. We're expecting life-threatening storm surge in some parts of the Panhandle and of course uh, other parts of Florida. And then we're also expecting heavy winds, heavy rain, coastal flooding, and rip currents. This is a serious situation as this moves in to the Gulf, it could strengthen to a major hurricane before making landfall per the National Hurricane Center. We're watching this carefully. We'll bring you every update as it comes in, but I wanted to kind of show you where it is right now because as this continues to push through, you can see where it's going to track and what it's going to do. Again, our timeline would be Wednesday to Friday as it makes its way into the Gulf and then eventually makes its way uh, on land and up toward the Carolinas. But here's the deal with this, okay? If it makes its way in as a major hurricane, that's where we really have to go ahead and prepare now for that storm surge possibility, the wind possibility, and of course the coastal flooding. And we'll do all of that. We're going to keep our eyes on the tropics 24-7 as a weather team, and we'll keep you updated on air and online. Fine.